Hey, good afternoon, guys. I uh, wanted to jump on and just give you guys a brief devotional this afternoon. We're going to be reading out of Hebrews 13 today, and it's uh, it's going to be about we we talk we talk a lot about. And we all know what what not to do, what Christians aren't supposed to do, um, in, in numerous places in Scripture, we're told not to not to be idolaters, fornicators, liars. Um, we we know the list, and it's very important for us to know that list. But it's also important for us to to keep that in perspective and to to also focus on the other side of that. And the other side of that is what can we be doing to please God? I know several weeks ago, Tyler had talked, had um, taught a sermon on, on, on God smiling down, on God smiling because of things that we do. What can we do? What can we do <clears throat> to please God and to bring a smile to his face? And I've been, I've been thinking about that this week. And wanted to go through um, just a, a few verses in Hebrews 13, and uh, we will uh, we'll read we'll read verses seven through 16. Hebrews 13: seven through 16. Remember those who rule over you, who have spoken the word of God to you, whose faith follow, considering the outcome of their conduct. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried, do not be carried about with various and strange doctrines, for it is good that the heart be established by grace, not with foods which have not profited those who have been occupied with them. We have an altar from which those who serve the tabernacle have no right to eat. For the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin are burned outside the camp. Therefore, Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered outside the gate. Therefore, let us go forth to him outside the camp, bearing his reproach. For here we have for, for here we have no continuing city, but we seek the one to come. Therefore, by him, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But do not forget to do good and to share, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. So I really want to focus in on those last few verses but I wanted I wanted to read the context of of those verses so that so that we we kept that in mind. We have this example of Jesus, and he uh, he paid the cost and fulfilled um, fulfilled the law and was that sacrifice, which is so important to remember, so that we can do things that are pleasing to God, so that we can serve and be faithful and glorifying our Father. So, um, in verse 15, the writer writes, Let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God, that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. It pleases God when we give thanks to him in every single situation. So this quarantine happens. Praise be to God. Let's frame this in a positive way. Uh, something happens with the economy. Praise be to God. We we are told <clears throat> we are told earlier in Hebrews that that we are to endure chastening, and God deals with us as sons. For what son is there whom a father does not chasten? But if you are without chastening, of which all have become partakers, then you are illegit illegitimate and not sons. 
So I know some of these things are difficult and I know some of these things are hard. I, I know being stuck in the house all the time and not being able to go anywhere is hard. We will get back, Lord willing, to worshiping together. What can we do today to put a smile on God's face, to be pleasing to our Lord? Guys, that's all I had today. I hope you have a great, I hope you've had a great week and have a great weekend. And uh, I look forward to talking to you all soon. Thanks.